So for my druthers, in the Howard years, I worked for Richard Alston. And now I was his broadcasting advisor. And then later on, I worked for Helen Coonan when she was communications minister as her chief of staff. Um, I think Al- Helen had a lot on her plate and it was the end of the Howard era. And she had T3 and she had media reform. She wasn't an ABC warrior. Richard Alston mm. was. Uh, Janet Albrechtson went on the board. Michael Kroger went on the Morris board. Morris Newman, I think, Morris was chair. Morris Newman was the chair. Uh, there was a lot of push by Richard in Senate estimates to hold them to account uh, for examples of bias or straying away from the editorial charter. Um, that's sort of fallen away. Now, you could argue, and Michael Kroger will say, um, even with us there, we barely made a dent. I, I have found the ABC, when you get out in country areas, radio in particular, to be fairly straight. It's the influence of Ultimo, the inner city suburb where the, the main operation and the executives are based, um, that I think is the real cancer. I think the best thing you could do is to decentralise and move it out of, out of uh, Sydney. And if it had to be for a reason to be in a capital city, put it all in Brisbane or Adelaide or, or somewhere Tasmania because the zealots that live in the inner city of Sydney are not going to move and you get a chance then to A, shed some staff, like, like backroom staff, better efficiencies, let's say, with SBS or whatever, but also have some cultural change. Um, would they do it? The problem is um, Malcolm Turnbull was the communications minister, then he was the prime minister, nothing going to happen, and now Paul Fletcher, who's a moderate, or left-wing liberal, um, he's not going to do much to push and shove the ABC into some sort of order. I was always in favour of of holding them back from their online and other mm. things in terms of keeping them to their knitting, television predominantly, radio predominantly, and saying that they had to put advertising in these other areas in order to... Um, compete on fair ta- terms with all the other players that are in the online world. I mean, no no, no media company gets a billion dollars without having to demonstrate an audience and they're wiping out their competition. So it's a real scorched earth policy. Um, interesting to see um, that not much has changed with Ida Buttrose and I think they, I think they wear, I think they wear their activism now as a badge of courage. 